Welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. This is Sean's View Entertainment's Judgment. Now, I know that this might be unpopular. I know you may not agree with my opinion, and you may not see things my way, but that's what makes this Sean's Judgment so compelling and so intriguing and so interactive because if you don't agree with my judgment and you think I should not have the final say, that's where you can chime in and tell me what you think. Now, there's a lot of people that are criticizing. There's a lot of people that are hating. There's a lot of people that are being judgmental of Roman Reigns, his spot, and his potential Royal Rumble win, and then going straight to the main event of WrestleMania. Now, I have been guilty myself of saying that Roman Reigns is too young. It's too soon but not because of his mic work. And what a big piece of news we learned yesterday that Vince McMahon is scripting every single line that Roman Reigns is saying, and that's why he's sounding so out of it. That's why he's sounding so dull. That's why he's sounding so unoriginal, so boring, so bland, so to speak, because he has to listen to Vince McMahon. Now, yes, Vince McMahon might book, and he might, well, he does book, but... I'm talking about he may write other people's storylines. He might write the script and, you know, he may say, well, this is what you're going to say. You're going to go out and do it like this. You're going to go out and do it like that. Even Triple H has been reiterating what Vince McMahon wants him to say. But there are just some guys in the company that you can't, uh, you know, you, 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 you can't prompt. You can't tell them, well, this is what you're going to say. This is how you're going to say it. This is how you're going to act. It has to come from the heart. It has to be original. It has to be organic. You have to feel what the person is saying. You have to believe in them. And Roman Reigns wants us to believe. And I do believe that the guy is the future. I do believe that he's a future WWE WrestleMania main eventer. I do believe that it will all come together for Roman Reigns. But here's the thing. We all, well, many people want to see Daniel Bryan return. He is returning. He will be in the Royal Rumble, and that's all fine and good and well. Listen, I'm not the biggest Daniel Bryan fan, but I'm damn sure glad that he's back because it adds another dimension to the WWE. But at no point do I feel Daniel Bryan deserves to win the Royal Rumble in headline WrestleMania. Now, once again, I'll probably get a lot of death threats because of this video, and you know what? That's fine. I'm used to death threats. I get dozens and dozens of death threats a day. Bottom line is, we want something different. We want something captivating. We want something new. We want something fresh. And whether you like it or not, Roman Reigns is fresh. we already seen Daniel Bryan a world champion. We've already seen Daniel Bryan a WWE champion. We've already seen Daniel Bryan a WWE world heavyweight champion. Daniel Bryan was even supposed to have that spot until the WWE Universe forced a hand because they didn't want to see Batista. But again, once everyone's saying, oh, that was Batista's fault. No, it was the way the WWE, uh, you know... They screwed everything up with Batista. That's WWE's fault. Batista was advertised. He wasn't supposed to be advertised. It was supposed to be a surprise. No one was supposed to know about it. Batista is in a different predicament than Roman Reigns is at this time. When Roman Reigns was a part of the Shield, I didn't hear all these negativities, neg negatives, uh, you know, shouted out him. When Roman Reigns was with the Shield, you know, oh, he did everything right. Everything was good. He was a man of a few words. Maybe Roman Reigns isn't built to speak. Roman Reigns is built to go in there, kick your ass. And, and win matches. That's what Roman Reigns is. He's not in there to put on a five-star match. He doesn't have the move skill of a Daniel Bryan. He, he doesn't have the aura of the Bret the Hitman heart. You know, he isn't going to stand in the best of the likes of a Ric Flair as concerns wrestling. Roman Reigns is built to last long. He's built to kick your ass. And he's built to freaking spear the crap out of you. That's what Roman Reigns is built to do. All this crap about, oh, he can't talk, he can't speak. We know a big part of this has to do with Vince McMahon. So you know what? Right there, Roman Reigns gets a pass. Roman Reigns gets a bye. Do we want to see the same song and dance with Daniel Bryan in the main event? He defeated Triple H, Batista, and Randy Orton in the span of one night. Even that was probably a tough, a tough pill for the WWE to swallow. All right, we need something different for WrestleMania 31. And I think if you put Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar, while it would be a good match, while it probably would even be better than Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, I think there is more money. I think there is more value. I think there is more prestige. And Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, that was the original match. That was what, what was the original booking. That was what the WWE went with. This was said six, seven months ago that this is the route the WWE was going to take. Now, once again, I don't recall the moaning, the pissing, the complaining about Roman Reigns when he was with the Shield. Now, year after year, people wanted Daniel Bryan as world champion. You got everything you wanted in Daniel Bryan. It was unfortunate that he came down with an injury. Daniel Bryan deserved everything he's ever got. All the accolades, all the accomplishments. 
But the bottom line is it's Roman Reigns time. It is time for the evolution. It is time for the Roman Empire to take over. I want Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania for all the right reasons. Ro Roman Reigns, in my opinion, is primed. He is willing and he is able. Once again, Roman Reigns is built to last long. He is built to endure the pain and the struggle in whatever comes his way. Daniel Bryan's body may not be able to hold up. The WWE may not be able to trust Daniel Bryan, but they can believe in Roman Reigns. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns is going to take this opportunity. It's taken a little bit longer than we anticipated him for him to uh, start steamrolling and for him to get that leverage. But Roman Reigns will grow into that role. Roman Reigns is the right choice for WrestleMania's main event, not Daniel Bryan. We've already been there and seen that. Subscribe.